We have seen how constructors work and how they are different from general methods in a class in the previous lesson. But in this video, we are going to talk about an important concept called constructor chaining. So as you know, there are three types of constructors, default, no arg and parameterized. Default constructor is generated by Java if there is no constructor defined in the class. No arg constructor is a constructor with no arguments. So it's similar to default constructor, but it can have a body. And parameterized constructors are constructors that have arguments like the one shown as example here. Constructor chaining is the process of calling one constructor from another and it can be done in two ways. First, within the same class, it can be done using this keyword. And secondly, from a base class, it can be achieved by using super keyword. So in the example shown, we are calling the default constructor from the parameterized constructor using this. When an object of this class is created, the output would be default constructor followed by parameterized constructor with single param. This process is used when we want to perform multiple tasks in a single constructor. So rather than creating a code, for each task in one constructor, we create separate constructor for each task and make their chain which makes the program more readable. So depending on the requirement of program, you can have one, two, three or multiple constructors in your class with different set of parameters.